and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah and we are not knitting today but nevertheless I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. We're making a tassel today and just like last week we're making a tassel from scrap yarn however this week we're going to use multiple colours. So as you can see I have cut up yarn here and I've got three strips of each colour and each one is approximately 16 inches and just as with last week you don't have to make the same size as me this is just a demonstration you can make them all sorts of different sizes but it needs to be long enough as you'll see so you can do a bit of sewing as well right so I have three colours another three of one colour and another three of another colour and I'm just going to pile them up here so they kind of match where the lengths are. It doesn't matter because we're going to tidy up when we've finished sewing. So what we need is three strips and I've used nine different colours so three lengths of each colour and you can see we also need the scissors and a needle. So once I've put those all together, I have also got myself a longer thread of one of the colours that I've used here. So that's going to create the tassel at the top. So I'm just going to thread that onto the needle. There we go. And I'm going to guesstimate halfway. And you can see it's not that difficult. I just wound that around my finger there. And I'm going to very carefully just push this thread underneath all of those threads there. And I'm going to tie it in a knot. There you go, that's the first stage. So I'm going to lay it out again. Take that thread around again, now that it's more secure, and tie it in a knot again. I'm going to do that three times, so one more time. And I will tie that in a third knot. Okay then, so we have our tassel here. What I've chosen to do is keep all of the multicolours in their sets of three. But you can you can mix them all up if you like so that it's a lot more random. I just like the look of the stripes as it goes down on the outside there. Right, so now what we do is exactly what we did last week, and that is we take the thread with the needle on it and we just carefully wind it around there. Oops, I missed something. What we're going to do is include this strand in the tassel as well. I'm just going to push that on the inside. There you go. Um, so we wind this thread around the tassel near the top and just pull that needle through the thread to make a loop and that will just secure it for the first time going around there. There it goes. It's as simple as that. I'm going to just gently neaten up those threads. And then we go around again, push the needle through the thread and tighten it up again. Pull the needle around and through that thread and just tighten it up. There you go, you have a neat and tidy tassel at the top there. Now what we are going to do, just like last week, is just push that needle through to the top so wherever you want to sew this tassel 
be that on the top of a hat, on the end of a scarf, on maybe on a, a row of bunting or as a Christmas decoration, then you have this thread at the top so you can just finish it off. Okay, so what we need to do now is just look to the base of all these threads and just cut them off neatly. And you will probably lose quite a bit of the chunk of this base because I didn't measure them accurately but I can see that that's the shortest one there. But there you go. And if you want to make lots of them exactly the same size then you will need to measure accurately and you can line them up against each other and just trim them so they are all the same size. I'm just going to trim that little bit here. There you go. That's better. So now, I mean, I've made tassels like this before when I've made a, a stripy blanket and I have to sew in lots of ends and I've used the ends to make tassels. So that is multicolour and it's using up not just um, leftover yarn but what would have gone in the bin. So, you know, utilise what you've got. You don't need to start with a fresh ball of wool to make these. You can um, just use what's there and what's ready to be upcycled. There you go, a multicoloured tassel. So have fun and I hope you'll share with me any, any uh, multicoloured tassels that you make. Like I said last week, you can find me on Instagram, you can find me on Facebook and there's my Facebook group as well where we get on with um, all sorts of knit-alongs and knitting chatter. Right, thank you for joining me. I'll see you next week, I hope. Bye.